501 RCG coupler allows an installer to extend an existing piece of cable without the need to use a junction box or a more permanent splice kit. The inline design maximizes space and incorporates plug and play technology for fast and easy maintenance. The product consists of two 501 RCG bodies and an inline coupler housing. Each body contains a spigot with socket insert, an armor clamping ring, a middle nut and a back nut. The coupler housing contains an insert tube with male-to-male -male pins and comes fitted with an external earth tag as standard. 501 RCG Coupler Installation Guide Prepare the cable as detailed in the assembly instructions. Ensure the armor or braid is correctly cut and stripped. Dismantle the components of the 501 RCG coupler as shown. Slide the back nut and middle nut onto the cable. Squeeze the socket insert to remove from the spigot. Confirm the orientation of the armor clamping ring is correctly orientated to suit the cable type, then slide onto the cable. Slide the spigot over the conductors and push the shoulder up to the exposed armor or braid. Slide the clamping ring back up the cable and over the armor or braid as far as possible. Slide the middle nut up the cable until it meets the armor clamping ring. Pass the coupler housing over the conductors and hand tighten to the middle nut. Grip the coupler housing with a wrench. Using a second wrench, tighten the middle nut an additional half to three quarters of a turn. Unscrew the middle nut. Inspect the armor clamping ring, confirming it is now clamped in place. If clamping is not satisfactory, repeat the process. Splay the conductors. Note the numbering on the socket insert. Feed the cable conductors through the correct slot in the socket insert. Slide the socket insert down to the spigot until it clicks in place. Mark the cut length and the strip length on the cable conductors. Visual indicators are molded into the socket insert. Cut the conductors to length. Strip the conductors to expose the correct amount of copper. The socket insert may be removed to assist this process. Take the first contact, slide over the conductor and press into the slot as shown. The contact will now be retained in the socket insert. Repeat for all positions. Take a moment to confirm the sockets are correctly seated. Visually confirm all the contacts are concentric to the openings in the tip of the socket insert. Visually confirm all the contacts are correctly rotated so that the grub screw is in the center of the slot. The product is supplied with a sachet of thread locker. Apply a drop to each of the grub screws and tighten with a screwdriver. The body portion is now ready to be connected to the coupler housing. Repeat this process for the opposite body. To hook up the 501 RCG coupler, take the first terminated 501 RCG body and slide the coupler insert, engaging the keyways and pins into sockets. Slide the coupler housing over the pin insert and hand tighten. Grip the coupler housing with a wrench. Use a second wrench to apply a further quarter turn to the middle nut. Tighten the back nut by hand until a seal is formed around the cable. Use a wrench to grip the middle nut. Use a second wrench to apply another full turn to the back nut. Use the middle nut tightening guide as an indication that the back nut is in the correct position. 
take the second terminated 501 RCG body. Ensure keyways are aligned and push into coupler housing until contacts are engaged. Hand tighten the middle nut. Grip the coupler housing with a wrench. Use a second wrench to apply a further quarter turn to the middle nut. Tighten the back nut by hand until a seal is formed around the cable. Use a wrench to grip the middle nut. Use a second wrench to apply another full turn to the back nut. Use the middle nut tightening guide as an indication that the back nut is in the correct position. The installation of the 501 RCG coupler is now complete.